What's up YouTube, it's the console Samurai, and I don't really get into PC gaming or Steam too much on my channel, but I have to say the Steam machines that are coming out are actually kind of interesting. They've really, they've got my attention, and they announced yesterday that the Steam machines will start coming out in November of this year, and you know, that's actually kind of cool because the idea of these is that they're going to take better hardware than the consoles. And they're going to sell them at the same price as a console. Now, let's be honest, that's just that's just the hardware aspect of it. There still remains a lot to be seen. And hardware is not the most important thing of gaming, although it, for some reason, has become what most people are concerned about. I don't know why. But <clears throat> the idea of it is interesting because I like I, I like the idea of Steam. Steam is Steam is a cool service. I actually would like to get more into it, but um. I don't really have a good gaming PC. So the idea of a Steam machine coming out at the same price as a console, which is a very affordable price, and actually being more powerful, is interesting to me. But the downside, I've actually done some research. When the specs first came out for the Alienware Alpha, I compared them to the Xbox One. And it wasn't as strong. It was more then it was, it was like twenty dollars more i forget which store i was looking at but it was the xbox one had come out at five hundred dollars and this steam alpha or alienware alpha was five hundred and twenty dollars and the processor was a little bit weaker the hard drive was smaller which if you're going to be having if you're going to be going a hundred percent streaming and installing on the hard drives you absolutely need to have a huge hard drive that is, that's, that's a must. That is number one priority. Well, number two. Number one is you actually have to have good games. But <clears throat> when I looked at it, I was actually surprised because it is, it, it is not what they're saying it is. You know, it, it was a little bit more expensive, not much more, a little bit more, and it was a little bit weaker. Well, that's kind of the purpose of the Steam Machine is to be the same price and stronger. Now, granted, $20 is really not much. So that, that you could just kind of take with a grain of salt and go, all right, but it's still weaker. So, and based on what I've read, and this is largely from Steam fanboys, Steam is not going to be able to do this because to actually compete with the consoles, they're going to have to sell the consoles at, they're going to have to sell their console, the Steam machine, at a loss. Well, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One do sell theirs at a loss. But they make up the lost revenue in licensing games. Steam's not going to be able to do that. So Steam may not be able to pull off everything that they claim they will. Um, making making a console that is more powerful than PS4 or Xbox One, or, well, definitely Wii U, um, yeah, absolutely doable. Making one that's as cheap as them, also absolutely doable. But is it going to be more powerful than them? and be the same price or a little bit cheaper that i don't know we'll have to wait until more information comes out more details come out and we'll, we'll just have to see when when we get closer to the release date but tell me what you think in the comments down below are you interested in these steam machines would you would you buy a steam machine rather than upgrading to the next generation or sell off your current your next gen consoles to get a steam machine Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Once again, I am the Console Samurai, and I'll see you around.